So should you buy an airplane? Well, like everything else, it depends. You obviously are already thinking about it because you're watching this and you're probably watching a bunch of other aviators on YouTube. So my bet is you're probably seriously thinking about it. Well, here are five things to think about before you make your decision. And hopefully it will put you on one side or the other side of the equation so you can make that decision. So number one, how into this are you going to get? I mean seriously, you have to ask yourself this question. Is flying something you are going to get into for the long term? Are you going to get your instrument rating or your commercial? Or are you going to go places? Or are you going to get some kind of a job, like an air tour or banner towing job, or even become a CFI? And remember, I'm talking about us, the over 50 crowd, the Silver Express. We have another lifetime left, so if this is going to be something that you're going to do in your retirement or transition phase, you got to think about it. How serious are you about doing this? Is this something that you are going to expand through the next chapter of your life? Or is it something you are going to casually embrace and just do once in a while? Which is fine. You just have to be honest with yourself. If this is a casual interest that you may be really excited about now, but you can't see yourself taking it further than your private pilot certificate, then a partnership or rental may be just right for you. And partnerships are fine if they are with the right people. Now, the next question is, how much are you going to fly? 50 hours a year, 70, 100, 20, or more? If you are going to take this casually, like 40 or 50 hours a year, and there's nothing wrong with that, you may want to rent or get into a good partnership. You will be much happier with flying something and walking away when the annuals do, or when the repairs need to get done. Or you want to go on vacation and not worry about your plane sitting there. But if you want more, then let's look at the next question. What are you going to do with this? Where are you going to take your flying? Because this will start to define what plane you are going to want. Answer this question honestly and plan it out. What ratings do you want to get after your private pilot certificate? This will help define the plane you want. Do you want something that you can take your friends and family out in and that you can go places? This will also help decide what plane to get. And here's the biggest factor, budget. What do you want to spend? If you have the money, that is awesome. So buy a nice plane. There's a guy who started flying over 50 at my airport and he is truly inspirational. He bought himself a beautiful Cirrus and now he is taking his friends and family up and down the East Coast and I think he may be even using a little bit for work. And he is an extremely safe pilot. I'll see if I can do an episode with him soon. But I didn't buy a Cirrus. I bought a $38,000 plane that I can build time in, get my instrument and commercial rating in, and grow into. And yes, I did overlook some things looking back, and there were a few cost surprises that I was not expecting. But then a friend of mine told me, look, this is ushering in a new phase of your life. So if you missed a few things on the initial purchase, big deal. It may cost you a little more than originally expected, but don't beat yourself up on it. The payoff is an experience and enjoyment, not to mention the accomplishment, and that's worth far more than a few thousand dollars. And lastly, the biggest question, do you want this? If you have the desire, the time, and the money, then do it. Owning an airplane is very similar to owning a large boat. There are $1,000 surprises here and there, but you can't put a price on the enjoyment, and you certainly can't put a price on the accomplishment or the confidence or the life change and everything that goes along with flying and flying in your own airplane. So give me a thumbs up, leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what other programs you want to watch and also let me know if this was helpful. Thanks and we'll see you soon. Bravo, 3011. 3011 outside of the Bravo, 3213.